hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to connect the MVC ADO.NET entity framework to a remote database of SQL server GoDaddy for this example I'm creating a new project go to file new project I'm choosing ASP.NET web application .NET framework the version is 4.6.1 and the project name is GoDaddy Entity. Click OK. And the templates I'm choosing MVC4. Click OK. Here the project creation successful. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click the models folder. Add new item in the install templates I'm choosing Visual C Sharp the second option data and I'm choosing ADO.NET entity data model and the data model name is GoDaddy model 1 add I want to connect the existing database of a remote server so I'm choosing the first option click next new connection and the connection properties I'm choosing Microsoft SQL Server SQL client the server name here I need to log into my GoDaddy database account to grab the data source connection string I'm logging to my GoDaddy database after I log into my GoDaddy account right now I'm in the databases section in the below table you can find the connection string properties the second option database server is the server name you need to provide this IP address I'm logging to my GoDaddy database account after I log into my web admin of SQL server and this is a table I, I want to connect to the ADO.NET entity framework and the columns are ename and salary let's flip back to my visual studio and the server name I'm adding here log on to the server so I'm not choosing the windows authentication I'm choosing SQL server authentication and I am providing the username and password of my GoDaddy account I'm entering my GoDaddy username and the password test connection test connection succeeded click OK now we need to choose a database uh, select or enter a database name I'm choosing Charm discount is my database name click OK I'm choosing S click next and the version I'm choosing entity framework 5.0 next the database tables views stored procedures and functions I'm expanding the tables expand the DBO I'm choosing the employee table and make sure all the checkboxes are selected and remember the model namespace Charan discount model click finish now here we got the employee table entities properties are ID, ename and salary now go to the solution explorer and notice here in the models folder the, the entity files are added now the next step is expand the controllers here in the controllers already have the home controller let's open this one I'm adding the namespace using GoDaddy entity dot models the action result index my entity name is Charan 
discount entities creating the object of this entity new churn discount entities in the return view from emp in cdn dot the table name is employees table dot to list select emp we have just finished the controller part before creating the index view page let's build this solution the reason why i'm building this page means when we added the entity framework the web.config file has been changed if you create the index view without build the application it will raise an error here build succeeded now we'll create the index page view highlight the action result index right click add view the view name index leave it as it is the template make it empty the model class the employee godaddy entity models the data context class and in the options the last checkbox uncheck it use the layout page uncheck it add and it's prompt a file with the name index already exists do you want to replace it s yeah now we got the final index page also but here in the model godaddy entity we need to make this as a i enumerable after that in the body section remove this default div and i have pasted a small table here which contains the employee details label and the table with header names employee name and salary and here at for each method godaddy entity dot models dot the employee table emp in models model now the emp copy here at emp dot the employee name e name is the column name of a table and emp dot salary this one these two columns i want to retrieve from a table using entity models that's it let's build a solution build succeed animation let's run this application google chrome and here we got the output employee name and salary of the employee table from the remote database that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos